Tutorial Website Builder Content Block This tutorial is on using the content block in Site Builder. Once you've logged into your account and you've accessed the Website Builder and you come to the home page of your website, uh, all of the content on these pages are built into blocks. To add a content block, you simply grab a content block icon and drag it to where you want it to be. And it will automatically open and then you can start copying or, or um, writing text in, in the block. There are different kinds of blocks. Um, the one with the yellow dotted line means that it is just an independent block. So anything that I change within this block is just on this block. Then there's another one which has more of a gray outline. That is a shared block. Anything that's changed in here uh, will change wherever else this block is located on the site. So this is good for content information and menus and different things like that. So you can change it once and it changes it across the site. Uh, to, to change a content block from shared, or, um, from shared to unshared, Click Save, go to Unshare, or to create a shared, I'll show you how to do that too. But if you wanted to unshare this block, you click Unshare, and that'll change it from a gray dotted line to a yellow dotted line. Once you're within this block, it pretty much works the same way any kind of text editor would work. Uh, you have the font, the size of the font. Um, font colors, uh, bold, italics. There's a little button here called More. When you click that, it gives you additional tools such as special characters and different things like that. You can also justify your text. Uh, left alignment, center, right, justified. You can add numbers in front of your content, uh, bullet points. You can change the invention of your site. Um, all from within each content block. So within this one, if I wanted to change the color of that name, I would highlight it, go over here to the font color, find the color that I wanted to save, go to the font color, Find the color that I wanted to save, say select, and then now that color is, is saved. Now if I wanted to create a link, I click in, click in the text box, and if I wanted to highlight this and create an email address, an actionable, then I would find create link, and I would click email. Now, if I'm going to type in an email address, I want to make sure that I click in this Open in New Window. Um, anytime you're linking to something, you can link to another website, you can link to a page within the site, you can click on Uploaded Files within your site, and um, all of these you want to make sure that you say Open in New Window except for Page. Page is the only thing within here that you do not have to click open in new window. And it creates a link. And I save. And now that link is active. Now if I wanted to move, if I wanted to ungroup or unsave this or unshare it, I click, I click unshare. Now this box has a yellow line and I can take it and if I want to move it over to here I can move it over to there um, if I want to reshare it then I just go back to save and I type in contact information create shared box and it is saved now if I wanted to add a photo or an icon then I would click wherever it is that I want to add that icon or photo. So I want to have a photo right there next to my name. So I click next to my name, 
I go up here to image and I click image. I go to my images. And look to see if there's anything here that I want to use. I'm going to use this. And as I mouse over it, you can see that it tells me that this image, what its name is, how big it is, when it was created, uh, this image is 70 by 87 uh, pixels. So I click on that and I say OK. Now I want the text to be lined up here. So I click on the image and I go to this tool right here and go Edit Image. And I change the properties. I want it to align to the left. And I want to give uh, a little bit of spacing. So I'm going to add 10 pixels of padding horizontally and vertically. So that means there's going to be 10 pixels surrounding this image that nothing can interfere with, like text or another image. And I'll say Apply. Um, now this is new. I have Save a Copy on the Site Map or Site Gallery. I, I don't, for this purpose, I don't usually save a copy, so I want to save the changes that I've made. And there's that image and my contents beside it. Now I've got this other content here that if I want to move it over, I just select it and say indent, and it will it will create an indent or an indention for me. Um, and then if I can tweak around, I can hold down my shift key and make this image a little smaller and once I'm happy with everything I click OK. Now because this is a shared box wherever this box is that image has been added and all these features have been added wherever that is so um, if, that, if I wanted to just have that on the front page um, I would need to make sure that that box is unshared That's the tutorial for that.